everybody wakes up four to five times a night. You just don't remember it because you roll over and go back to sleep. But because you're at this time zone where it's easier to arouse, you're in a lighter stage of sleep. So when you wake up from a lighter stage of sleep, it's harder for you to get back. When you when you wake up from a deep stage of sleep, you fall back into a deep stage of sleep relatively quickly. So that time zone makes a lot of sense why, why people are awakening there. Now, I have a very particular method of exactly what I want you to do. So first of all, don't look at the clock. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Everybody looks at the clock, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they instantly do the mental math and then they say, oh shit, it's 3.30 in the morning. I have to get up at six, sleep, sleep, sleep. And they try to sleep, right? So here's the deal, man. Sleep is a lot like love. The less you look for it, the more it shows up, okay? So it's it just like if you're out there trying to find that perfect person in your life, there's no, there's no universe where that happens. But when you shut up, sit down and relax, guess what? Whoosh, they come right in. Sleep is exactly the same way. If you have this anticipation, I gotta sleep, I gotta sleep. There's no universe where that happens. And there's a couple of reasons why. The biggest one has to do with your heart rate. So one of the metrics that very few people know is you need a heart rate of 60 or below to enter into a state of unconsciousness. Anxiety is not your friend in the middle of the night. So here's what you gotta do. People in the middle of the night, they look at the clock. Here's what I want them to say instead of, oh shit, I gotta go to sleep, is they say, oh, wait a second. I was listening to that podcast where I had that sleep doctor guy on and here's what he said is if I just relax in the middle of the night in a quiescent state, an hour of this is worth about 20 minutes of sleep. So I'm still getting some level of rejuvenation. So that's step number one is chill out. You're not hurting yourself. You're still getting some level of rejuvenation. So relax. Number two, we got to get your heart rate back down. Four, seven, eight breathing perfect way to do it. So Dr. Andrew Weil came up with this technique that he used with the Navy SEALs. Breathe in for a count of four, hold it for a count of seven, breathe out for a count of eight. What it does is it dumps out all the excess carbon dioxide that kind of sits in the bottom of your lung and means your heart doesn't have to work as hard. So your heart rate slows down. And that's what we're looking for. One other point, don't go to the bathroom. Well, when you go from a lying position to a seated position to a standing position and you walk across the room, what do you think you do to your heart rate? Mm -hmm. Raise it, stimulation. Straight up. And yeah. if, you if you're if you dumb enough to turn the light on in the bathroom. <laughs> Check your phone. And <laughs> right, you're, you're a goner because you just gave yourself a huge dose of blue light. You might as well tell your brain to turn off melatonin faucet. <laughs>